Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's OGC here. Today we have a new hero spotlight. We're going to be going over Virians. So Virian is a paladin uh, hero. He specializes with, um, I guess, uh, moral boost uh, and also humans. Um, so th those two things, very huge. The human swords and pretty much anything that can get a moral boost will benefit from, from Virian. His primary purpose is to be somewhat tanky on the battlefield, to resurrect swordsmen if you play humans, and to offer uh, damage reduction to anything that has moral boost. Absolutely fantastic hero. And how to get Virian? You can actually get Virian for free. All you need to do is get up to a Marquis um, for the rankings. Once you obtain this rank point, you will get Virian for, for free for in the game. He is a fantastic hero at all levels of play. I love me some Virian. So at the time of recording this, Virian has three different craftable gears. He has the craftable one, um, he has the dragon one, and he also has the clash of fate one. The Drake set for the Paladins has not come out yet, so make sure you guys subscribe, that way you guys can be notified when it is released and to see if it's worth it for uh, Virian or not. So the first one is going to be the Craftable set. Craftable set is awesome if you're just trying to gain stats. Um, because you can make it flawless for free, it just requires honor gangs and a little bit of luck when you transmute. What this three-piece set does is uh, Virian will gain Rally ability. Rally, you can use on a troop, uh, you target them, similar to Retreat of Elena. However, instead of retreating them, they're actually going to gain a moral boost. Um, I think that it's uh, it is pretty pretty huge to get the, the moral boost. Um, I used to use this more frequently, however, now I don't too much. The next one is going to be the Dragon set for Virian, and what this does is it allows everything nearby him to actually gain health per second. Now, it's not a ton of health, but it, it, it is something. And for the third uh, set out there for Virian, this three-piece set is the Clash of Fate one. What it does is it calls down a divine hammer upon the highest health enemy every 12 seconds. So realistically, it's mostly just going to be the enemy dragon. And what it does is it does 10% max health damage, which is huge, in an area of effect, and it stuns the enemies for one second. It can stack if you have multiples of these. This is a great option for him. You will sacrifice some of these stats in order to do it, uh, but it will uh, it will help you out if you have extra Clash of Fate points, uh, which I should probably get one because I have a lot of them. Uh, also, the Flawless Shield version from this is going to be the best stat shield for Virian uh, that is possible to obtain in the game right now. Virian also has four trinkets that all offer plus one two skills. So the first one is going to be the uh, Crusaders uh, shield one and this is a trinket. It actually has pretty good stats if you're going for magic and what this will do is this will actually uh, really boost up um, your Crusader shield skill by offering plus one to it. The other option uh, in this one I, I really don't recommend uh, for, for anybody out there is going to be the uh, Codex and this offers plus one to uh, Light Safeguard. Uh, it's a pretty good skill but I really don't think it takes it, it like needs a whole uh, trinket spot. Virian also has two other trinkets and uh, they are actually legendaries. You cannot craft these, you'll have to find these in the world and through the uh, recast system you can turn them into divine items. So the first one is going to be the prism and this offers plus one to crusader resurrection. So this is really only useful if you are using swordsmen uh, as humans. And he also has a plus one to uh, swordsman mastery one. And again, this is mostly useful if you are playing humans. What I would do if I am playing humans is I would use the jewel, the one, the plus one for the mastery. And personally, I would go with the crusader shield one uh, for uh, humans. When it comes to artifacts and or prisms, um, one of the artifacts that I really like on him is the origin stone because he is pretty tanky and uh, he's going to stay near my dragon the whole fight. So there's never an issue of him being out of range for the origin stone. Now, I think that there are two other useful uh, 
uh, artifacts on him if you um, decide to go that route. There is um, th there's the new free to play hammer which uh, you could put on him if you want him to get more uh, resistance through the actual fight. And the two other ones is there should be a mirror of reality so if you are playing human and you're say you're doing sieges this could be really good because then you get two crusader resurrections towards the end of the fight and you can resurrect even more swordsmen uh the last one and probably my, my favorite one if i was playing human with um with Virian is actually going to be the two star Solantius because for PvP, you're pretty much guaranteed to pull off the Crusader uh, Resurrection, um, meaning you're going to resurrect your Swordsman as long as Virian is not stunned up for too long. So this is a great way to keep him alive and safe for a longer portion of time when it comes to PvP if you're playing humans. If you're not playing humans, then I wouldn't consider the Solantius at all. When it comes to the prisms for uh, Virian, since he is a tank and he should be up front uh, absorbing a bunch of damage for anything besides humans, um, it's very risky to put a prism on him. If you, I don't think there's a prism that you should put on him only to benefit him as a hero. So that leaves prisms available that benefit your whole troops, all of your dragons or whatever else. And I don't think having that type of prism on Virian is the best choice for right now. There are safer options like your um, Avalon, your uh, Ophidius, or, or say your Elena for those massive full army buffs. Uh, as more and more prisms come out, we might see that uh, Virian will go with the tanky one if he's going up front, or if you do have a two-star Solantris or higher on him, then going with the overall buff one might not be a bad idea, simply because he's going to live for a while with the Solantris. When it comes to Virian's abilities, his first one is going to be Light Safeguard. So Light Safeguard, when his damage uh, or health drops below 50%, um, he's going to take 95% damage mitigation for uh, up to 23 seconds if this is level 9. I think it's 25 seconds for level 10. Um, fantastic skill. This is his bubble. It keeps him alive. Um, and this is what really makes him tanky. Without this, he's really not tanky. But this will make him tanky for a good portion of time. Next, we have Summon Swordsman. So this is, is not really... Uh, good skill. The only time that this is useful is during the Dragon Abyss um, and maybe if you're playing Lich but I, can, I can't justify it at all. I, I, I think just skip this skill uh, unless you're going to Dragon's Abyss uh, then max this one out. Then we have the Lion Heart Blade. So what this does is every time uh, Virian attacks he has a 25% chance um, dealing additional damage and healing himself. So it's a fantastic skill overall. This will give him more sustain. Say he's in his bubble and he's taking a bunch of uh, reduced damage. This will help he heal him up so he'll be alive longer in the fight. Next we have Swordsman Mastery. So if you are playing humans or you're summoning swords for um, Dragon's Abyss, which if you are doing Dragon's Abyss, you should switch humans uh, because your summon troops will get the research bonuses. Anyways, this is useful if you have swordsmen out on the battlefield. If you do not have swordsmen out on the battlefield, do not worry about this skill. Next we have Crusader Shield. So this is useful for anything out there that can get a moral boost. It does not matter your race, besides maybe Lich, if you have something that gains moral boost, then this is a great skill for you. This is bread and butter as far as rocking. And what it does is as long as the, the unit has a moral boost, they will take 45% reduced range damage. That is massive. And finally, for his last skill, he has Crusader Resurrection, which this uh, resurrects um, Swordsman. It is a amazing skill. I believe at 5, you can resurrect um, 25 Swordsmen, and at 6, you can resurrect 30. I might be off, but that is... Uh, no, it should be more than that. It should be more than that. Anyways, he, you resurrect a ton of troops, um, specifically Swordsmen and only Swordsmen. Also, every 20 seconds during the fight, he'll randomly do it and, and resurrect some back. This is huge for humans. So when it comes to how Virian works on the battlefield, uh, first and foremost, um, you do have summon swordsmen, which if you choose to use, uh, they will be um, 
decent depending on the level. Again, it's really the Dragon's Bist that this matters the most. Um, we do have the origin, origin Stone thing on him just because uh, we have the artifact on him. And I want to see if we can get the uh, Swordsman to have uh, some less health. Uh, however, I, I don't think that's going to work too well. Um, now you'll notice uh, he does have a big blue thing that comes up over him for this skin. Um, and that is his resurrection. Um, so using the resurrection is huge uh, if you are using Swordsman. So as far as what my variant looks like, it changes uh, quite a bit depending on um, on, on what, what race and everything that I am playing. I don't know if I have one set up for him uh, as human. At this moment, I don't. But if I was playing human, what, what I would do is I would make sure to have... Um, a plus one to the uh, mastery trinket on and also plus one for the crusader shield because uh, i think those two are probably the biggest as a human player um otherwise i choose to go mostly for stat stuff because i'm playing dwarf right now uh, i do like the origin stone on him i, I really really like that um if I, I and again if i was going uh human i think um okay i do have my human set up so this is my skill set for humans if I was to play human, uh, where I have 6 out of 9 for the late safeguard. That's going to offer him a lot of uh, damage mitigation, and I think at this is 14 seconds, but I would have this launches on him as well. A couple points into the Lionheart Blade, uh, just so he can get some level of heal. Max out Sword Mastery, Max out Crusader Shield, and 4 out of 5 for the Crusader Resurrection, uh, just because I think that's, that's 30 right there, so that is plenty as far as uh, the Resurrection. While I'm playing Dwarf, it looks a little bit different, and this uh, this is going to be true for pretty much anybody that is not human. Um, so what, what this will look like for you is having Max out Life Safeguard, so you can get 23 seconds. Max out Lionheart Blade, so you can get a lot more health regain every time it goes off. Um, the Swordman Mastery, you can go with something else instead of that. And having the Crusader Shield uh, for a Dwarf or Rockin, or even Sylph if you're using the Archers, is huge. Uh, for Rockin especially, this will really help your Samurai stay alive. And uh, for those types of races, like Rockin, where you have the frontline uh, humanoids, then I would consider putting the plus one on for the Crusader Shield. So that, that's my variant in a nutshell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. He is a free free hero. Everybody's going to get him. He's an awesome, awesome hero. So if you guys like this video, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. In the description of this video and all the videos, we have a bunch of cool stuff, including the Facebook page, the Discord, the merch store, the Patreon stuff. So thank you to the Patreons. They make all this possible by helping supplement. Thank you guys so much. Uh, at the end of this video, we will have a uh, Hero Spotlight playlist updated for 2020. So if you're curious about a hero, go check it out. They might just be there. Anyways, until tomorrow, guys, have a fantastic day.